Hello all YouTubers, I am Weather Dude. welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you all for tuning back into my presentation for April 5th, 2019. Today's video is going to be my 4th 2019 Atlantic Hurricane Season Outlook, so please stay tuned. I will have my latest outlook, as well as Colorado State University's outlook that they just released yesterday. Okay, so as always, please consider subscribing to my channel, okay, as well as ringing the bell notifications, never miss one of my videos again. Okay, so we're going to start out with this little graphic. I know it is a little blurry. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll zoom in out a little bit so you can see better. Okay, but this graphic is basically saying on the left is the average. Okay, so we have an average of 12 total named storms. And out of those, we have a total of 6 hurricanes and 3 major hurricanes. Okay, so Colorado State University is forecasting. So 13 named storms, 5 hurricanes, and 2 major hurricanes. Okay, this is... They're going to release another outlook, a couple, maybe even a few more outlooks in t before hurricane season starts and even during hurricane season. Okay, so maybe like if you're one of those people that says that the average number of categories for your higher storms is two, okay, then it's going to be an average season for you. But if you're one of those people that's like, no, the average of major hurricanes is three, then you're going to be one of those people that says it's going to be like a slightly below average season. Okay, so I think it's going to be a near average, slightly below average season. It's going to be right around average. In 2018, we had actually above average activity, more hurricanes, more named storms. However, however, major hurricanes was just a touch below average, but the season itself was above average. Okay, again, so I went over Colorado State University and the average section over here. Okay, but on the right, you notice my outlook. Okay, updated today. Okay, and I think the significance of the season is going to be near average to average. Okay, I think we have a total of 11 to 14 named storms. Five to seven hurricanes and two to four major hurricanes. I think the number might actually drop a little bit, but this is what I think as of the current conditions now. I think that's what could evolve as we head into the hurricane season. Okay, so here's a satellite loop. Okay, actually, let's put it on loop. Let's actually let it roll. And you can see we do have a tropical wave. We had a huge tropical wave not too long ago setting up off the coast of Africa. Like, it was, it's, it was literally like this big. It was like huge. Okay, but we do have a couple of tropical waves making their way from south to north. Okay, but the wind shear is just going to take these tropical waves apart. They're not really going to get too far at all. Okay, and not too far away from the hurricane season. Okay, got about a little under two months left till the hurricane season starts. Here's the rain that's impacting the East Coast this afternoon. It's going to be moving out shortly. Okay, so we're going to look at the sea surface temperature anomalies right now across the North Atlantic Ocean. Okay, and this basically covers the whole Atlantic, actually. There's one little zone on off the coast of Western Africa is where we have the cold temperatures. Okay, but out in these parts of the tropical Atlantic, and even the North Atlantic has been really doing good. I mean, we're talking about, like, really warm sea surface temperatures, at least in anomalies. And the Gulf of Mexico is not doing too bad either. Central and Southern Gulf of Mexico is not doing too bad. However, Northern Gulf of Mexico and, like, towards the coastlines of, say, like, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and Eastern coast of Mexico... Okay, it's going to be slightly below average, but the Yucatan Peninsula is not doing too bad right now either. Okay, so the wind shear, wind shear is going to be pretty high as well. This is the wind shear tendency in the past 24 hours. Okay, there's a couple little spots where we have slightly below average, wind, below average wind shear. Okay, but generally you do see the pattern. There's a lot of wind shear right now. So that's why we're predicting like a near average season because of this wind shear going on. Okay, so... 24-hour forecast for the wind shear. Okay, like I said, I said this in my previous outlooks. Below that 10 degree end line is where you're gonna have the most favorable favorable conditions earlier in the season. Notice how there's not much wind shear down here right now. Okay, but you can see the rest of the Atlantic is basically just covered in wind shear, and that's why no storms are gonna form. Not that tropical storms usually form in April, but still we kind of have a subtropical storm form. It's not out of the ordinary. Or at least a subtropical low is not out of the ordinary. So, here is the 48 hour forecast, so two days from now. Okay, some little wave patches, so when you're starting to taper off just a little bit, but you still do see the general pattern. It's the status quo, it's still staying like above average wind shear. And the wind shear is going to strengthen across the Atlantic as you had in the 72 hour forecast. Okay, so overall, a near average Atlantic hurricane season is expected based on what we're seeing right now okay so here's a tropical in intensity index map okay it kind of shows you like how favorable conditions right now all the whole map is covered in green right now it means highly unfavorable except for this little spot along the gulf stream in 
the Gulf of Mexico, around the eastern Gulf of Mexico, along the Gulf Stream. So, in the green area, is highly unfavorable. That little yellow means slightly more favorable, but it's still unfavorable for development. Okay, and I don't think a tropical storm would form exactly at that point. Okay, but, okay, favorable and highly favorable, not on this map at all. Which means, that conditions are not favorable right now for hurricane seasons, or for hurricanes to develop. Okay, so here's the sea surface temperature anomalies, okay. All in all, okay, very warm, especially across the North Atlantic and near the coastlines, the eastern seaboard, the Gulf of Mexico, especially doing well right now with those sea surface temperatures. Okay, so here's the dry air. Again, the more dry air, the less hurricanes. Okay, you can see here's our two tropical waves, number one, number two. Okay, the dry air is really letting up today. There is really not much wind shear to contend with at all, which is good news. Okay, except across the North Atlantic, we do have some problems with wind shear there as well. Okay, and also towards the west, if we scooch on over to the west, Gulf of Mexico is covered in, wind, in uh, dry air. Okay, but we do have near Cuba not as much dry air. Okay, and also because that cloud, the clouds and the rain in the eastern seaboard, not much in the way of dry air as well. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I'll flash you my outlook one last time so you can see 11 to 14 named storms, 5 to 7 hurricanes, 2 to 4 major hurricanes. Again, I will be issuing several more outlooks after this, so this will change. Okay, I am Dweather Dude, signing off. Till next time, thank you for watching.